in precious God, may informing him of the same thing. Up to today's date, I tell you, he has not called me to ask me or even reply to the letter. The only thing he did was he called the managing director, telling him that, oh, get yeah, yeah, somebody in a world wrote a letter to you about SIC Sunday and all kinds of things. Today, this morning, when I came to work after the one month suspension, I saw that I've been terminated for what management called it, for the vacation of the code. Which I see as a young person, a professional person. So you found them the same class? Yes, definitely. I got my letter this morning. It very much to me. It spoiled my entire, you know, entire everything I've been working for all the years. Because if somebody see that kind of trust me, a letter to this for trusting the kingdom, that's a problem with the Lord. So this morning we are here to inform the world that the Lord being born to God with truth to stand for the truth, with truth to speak the issue. To tell the way I did the way in which he proceeding is not right for that reason. We are being targeted, we are being respond, we are being, I don't know, we are being everything we do, we are we are we are we are not even enjoying benefits that we're supposed to enjoy. Bonuses, they deny my bonus. They deny me for you see my physical year bonus, which in the in April was even far for the issue of the report because of this thing. So we are calling on minimal librarians who listen to us to, to hear what we're going to currently as that model. Okay, so thank you, sir. And that's one. Okay, the final question for you. Morning. Your name, sir? Um, I'm uh, Nicholas from Tega Korea. Okay, Nicholas. Yep. Um, welcome to Prime Network. Thank you. And uh, focus on Liberia. Thank you. Uh, you care to tell us, Nicholas, uh, who are you here? Uh, I am the president of the Workers Union, and uh, I serve in the um, after sales department. I'm a sales executive, and I've worked with the company for the last nine years. Okay. Okay, so why are you out here with the uh, inscription, enough is enough? Uh, as, as, as this banner reads, enough is enough. We have gone through so much, especially uh, with the new management that came in a little over a year ago. Um, it's been one year, four months since Mr. Ajayi came in. And since, since I've managed the director of this company, we have encountered a series of... Uh, Dissatisfaction, disenchantment among the workers. You care to name a few of them? Pardon me? You care to name a few of them? Uh, like my colleague, um, Mr. Taran Boyan was dismissed. Uh, the lady in the background, Joanna Boaka, also received a suspension. She's personally serving a suspension as a matter of fact. Uh, Ernest Wallow, who was just standing next to me, also got a dismissal letter just this morning. And that prompted our action. Uh, we have worked for the company for the last nine years peacefully. We have not had such issues before, and everything was fine until Mr. Bowie came in and decided to unilaterally run this company with iron fist. The way things the way he feels, he's very arrogant. He doesn't listen to people. He doesn't consult the workers' union before taking actions or making decisions. And when the when this issue first came about regarding our colleague uh, concerning the report that was done, this reporting question was was uh, rectified. There were errors within the report. That error, those errors were rectified. It was resubmitted. To our surprise, the brother was given two weeks suspension. And according to him, he said there's an ongoing investigation from HQ. Until the investigation can be concluded, everything should remain as it is. So we waited for the two weeks suspension to elapse. After the two weeks suspension, the brother came back to work on the 18. Another two weeks was given to him. He served that two weeks from the 18th of last month to the 6th of June, which was yesterday. He resumed work yesterday. Surprisingly, his account still remained blocked. Do not access his computer. Do not access uh, his working tools and what have you. So based on that, we told him to contact the HR office to get uh, update as to what was really happening. When he contacted the HR office, the HR said that it is from the MD. So wait. So we decided to remain mute the order yesterday until today. When we resumed work this morning, to our surprise, we were called by the HR to go to his office to sign for a letter. Not knowing that we have already gone ahead to prepare a termination letter. As I speak to you, we signed for that letter. The copy is in my possession. It, it, is, based, it is based on this letter that contact our current action out here as you see. So, so you just received the letter of dismissal this, this morning? This morning, yes. Okay, so how many of you out here have been dismissed? Uh, for now, we have one person here dismissed, another one suspended for time indefinite. And what about you, you then? For me, maybe my, as I speak to you personally, maybe my account has been blocked also. Because this has been the case. 
Once you have focus, once you expect your destiny to start your destiny to you become the target. So it is possible, right after this interview, I may not have the job. I just want to air this to the public and to the government. Have you been, been focused before his arrival? Or it was only after uh, Ajay came you decided? We have been focused from time to time. We have been engaged in management, we have been talking to the other the workers, and we continue to remain vocal. And have you had such a treatment since um, uh, similar to what the current administration is giving you? No, we have not had. How long have you been with Sika? I have worked with the company for nine years. And this and is the worst not, since you started working? Absolutely. This has been the worst case since uh, the inception of Mr. Ajay. And he's, 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 he's one person who thinks that. Uh, he controls everything. He even brags about having influence over the labor sector. He brags about having vast uh, uh, control over people in higher places. And he can do anything and nothing will be done. I was just about to ask you because I heard your colleague talked about the labor ministry. What has been your own engagement we, as we, far as this matter is concerned? We wrote the Ministry of Labor and we we're waiting to redress. All right. We we're waiting to redress from the Ministry of Labor. So I was surprised the managing director had a copy of the communication that was sent to the Ministry of Labor. He had, that, he had a copy of that communication in his possession. Now, after we wrote the Ministry of Labor, I believe the Ministry of Labor should have called the both parties, the agreed party, as well as the brother involved, to get his side and that of management. Unfortunately, that was not done. Instead, we received this letter. So nobody from the Ministry of Labor, this? Absolutely nobody from the Ministry of Labor has ever come to ask any question. But I think you should be waiting for redress instead of uh, being out here protesting. We waited, we waited for the longest you can imagine. It's been more than two months now since we've been waiting for labor. All right. And that was on May, May 9th. From May 9th, yeah. And now, while we are still waiting for the Ministry of Labor, we received a termination letter. So. If we were to wait for the Ministry of Labor like we have been waiting, then the other parties should have also been on hold instead of issuing a verdict determination. So I believe this ministry is still before this matter is still before the Ministry of Labor and both parties should be waiting for redress instead of the other party going ahead and issuing a termination letter. That means there has been a verdict breach. What are you sensing on the part of the Ministry of Labor? What are you sensing? I think they have been compromised. Compromised? Yes. The you have evidence to that? From their actions. From their actions, they have been compromised. And from the utterances coming from this managing director, that he has control over people in higher places and he can do whatsoever that he feels. Did he like, actually mention that? Will be done. Did he mention that to you guys? Yes. Are you he sure about that? that? Even this morning, we received a dismissal letter. Mm. We decided to get his side. He said he has absolutely no comment. That was his exact word, and I quote. What kind, of man, is the, what kind of man is the managing director? He's very arrogant. So he's not a people center he's person. People center person is very arrogant. He's self center. He brags a lot of most people in higher places, like I said, and he can do whatsoever he feels like and get away with it. That's why we are here to so draw the attention of the public and the government that brought you the pressure of labor. So how long will you continue this protest we'll action? We'll be here for as long as this matter is supposed to go to HQ, our hair office. Well, where do you have your hair office? Your hair office is in Paris, France. Oh, Paris, France. Yeah. So we intend to, to carry on this protest for as long as we can to draw the attention of the national government to the Ministry of Labor and also our head office. All right, your name again? My name is Nicholas Otega Pudia. Nicholas, it was a pleasure having you on Focus Online Bureau Online Television. Thank you very well, much. Well, folks, we're still here uh, just along the bourgeois island where you have scores of uh, Sika Motors employees who are out here today staging a peaceful protest alleging uh, some form of bad labor practices on the part of their managing director. Well, we've been talking to them. Uh, some questions were posed, and uh, we're still here. Perhaps we will try to get in contact with the MD himself to probably respond to some of the allegations leveled against him as professional ethics debates. But as you come on live, share the video so that others can have the opportunity to uh, see what's happening here. We are along the bourgeois island. Uh, where you have these uh, employees of Sika here protesting peacefully and of course we want to encourage you to stay on as you stay on with us, share the video so that others can have the opportunity to see what's happening here today. Let me talk to some of the ladies. How are you? Good morning. It seems like you've been talking since morning. Yes, I've been here. How are you today? You don't seem to be a happy person. Yeah, I'm not happy at all. All right. 
What was the issue? You care to tell us a few minutes? Yes, I care to tell you. That's why I'm here because I want to express myself and let the world know what is going on at Sika Motors Labura Incorporated. All right, let's know. My name is Martha Darwin. I joined this company in 2018 of June and I got employed 2019 May. All right. I have been working here as an employee for the first portion of my employment here. We as employees were very, this place was one of the best places that anybody would like to work because of the working environment. A piece of mind is very important. Our previous managing director that was here, he had us together as family. Right. And he always told us that once you are here, this company is for you. I'm a managing director here today. I can be sent somewhere else for you as librarians are the owner of this company. And that we had at our back of our minds and we work it the way we work. And I turned, I turned way back, the owners of this company started wise to reassign him because of his performance. He took our company from nowhere and brought us to a point where we were recognized among our peers. So today, in last year of February, we receive a new managing director in writing of Mr. Boyi Ajay. Since the inception of Mr. Boy, as my, my police, I've always said, my police prefer stated, since our managing director took over, we have been having issues from issues to everything that was previously ours, we'll always fight for it. As it was earlier stated, you mean some benefits? Yes, yeah, some benefits that normally we as employees, when you are employed and you are working with a company for the past two years, you are entitled to have a room. Our previous managing director used to give us 10 percent of our net salary. That which we used to take and do whatever we want to do because we know in that you get to pay for your salary for it if you want to improve yourself. So in the wisdom of the crafter of this company, so the wise that we are employees should get some benefit like loom to be able to improve ourselves. But when this managing director took over, when he took over, he told us that this is not a charity company. And the HQ do not know that loan are given here. So for that reason, he was not going to give us loan. Because we fought, we fought. He said the only reason, the only way he can give us loan is to partner with the bank to give us loan. And the bank can only agree to give us 20% loan. People went ahead and took those loan. But when we started having issues with this management, we wrote a 13 can point to our air office. Listen, Sarah's reason why we can no longer work with Mr. Boyi as employees. On the last 13 count, we waited for our HQ to respond to us. At the end of the day, they came back. The regional director told us that Mr. Boyi was one of the best. He went to the best school, so we should work with him. So we have been here. As there was earlier stated, one of our colleagues was dismissed. He worked almost 10 years from the inception of Sika Moto. He worked. And later on, he was dismissed that on a, on a poor performance, he was dismissed. He was, he was never given a time. But rather, they managed the managing director under the quarry of darkness, gave check to one of our colleagues. And they took it to the main house. That was the end of the story. The full benefit that he should have gotten, they wrote check on a courier of darkness and took it to the main house. Okay, let, let me hold you there. Uh, let me try to go in there and talk to the MD to respond to some of the allegations. I will come back to you. What's the name again? Mata Damien. Mata, let me, let me go in there and uh, let me take the camera in there and try to speak with the managing director of this uh, Siga Moto. We want to say welcome we are just right here good morning how, how you guys doing man uh is the md around all right we are just right uh, into the premises of uh, Sega motor corporation where the managing director has been alleged of uh, uh, some form of bad labor practices 
we thought to come out here to just get his side of the story and uh, to respond to some of the many allegations levied against him by uh, schools of employees of this institution and so we were told to just hold on a little bit and uh, he's in his office he will come out very shortly so we are still here we still here as you come on live share the video so that others can have the opportunity to see what's happening here today and uh, this is the Sika Motor Corporation we're just inside of the uh, facility itself and on, we're on the outside of the facility we're not inside of this facility and of course uh, we we want to do our best to keep informing you. Focus online bureau, online television. Tia Williams is my name. And uh, from just wherever you are joining us, whatever you're doing, this wonderful uh, Tuesday in Monrovia, I'd like to say welcome. It's uh, 22 minutes past 11 o'clock, Liberian time. And uh, we're here at the Sika Motor Corporation, just along the Bourgeois Island, where you have schools of employees who are out there protesting against some form of bad labor practices on the part of the current managing director. So uh, let me try to get out a little bit more and uh, talk to uh, the employees as we are with the MD proper to come to respond to some of the allegations. These are the striking or protesting uh, Sika Moto employees we want to say welcome as you come on live share the video so that others can have the opportunity to see what's happening here yeah yeah with uh placards with uh, lots of inscriptions let me try to read out some of the inscriptions for you uh this one says uh bar labor practice at sika motors another one here says wrongful dismissal at sika motors war must go this one says enough is enough Another one here says, our people are suffering as Sika Motors, war must go. This one says, uh, we cannot be slaves in our home, war must go. Uh, total wish hunt or wish hunting, war must go. Uh, these are the placards you viewing on our live uh, television screen. And of course, um, as you watch, share the video. These are schools of employees of Sika Motors uh, Corporation. Here with uh, some allegations. Here with some allegations. That people, that people who want to be part of this, they are afraid before they lose their jobs. They are afraid. Okay. All right, so uh, we want to leave it at this point and try to talk to the managing director. To respond to all of the allegations against him and so uh, just remain where you are I uh, want to leave at this point uh, the managing director has asked not to be on camera but we want to see how we will do it we want to see how we will do it so just uh, stick and stay with us when the near arises we'll be back very shortly <laughs> 